Hi everyone! These days NXP Semiconductors is opening a second R&D development center in Romania, in Sibiu, in Transylvania. I'm really happy that it is happening because I am from Sibiu, so Sibiu is my hometown and I work for 20 years for NXP, I spent 20 years in Sibiu in my youth. So it's really nice, even on a personal level, to see, to see this happening. And it is a great thing for Sibiu, and it is also a great thing for NXP. Let's look a little bit of why is that, right? Why is it such a thing? First of all, we didn't open exactly these days. We opened a while ago, but the cake was not ready. Now the cake is ready. As you can see, it is a very, very good cake. I did not even manage to film it <laughs> before being cut. And I know what you're thinking, if it's Sibiu, if it's Transylvania, it means that this is the place where you can meet Dracula and have a coffee with him in the morning. Nope. <laughs> Dracula, like all of us, is working hybrid these days and is passing through the same difficulties we are all facing in, you know, balancing work life and <laughs> taking care of family. Now, that being said, let's take a bird eye view on Sibiu, see a little bit how it looks. We have the cozy downtown. It, it is a quite large town, you know, it's between 2,000, 200,000 and 300,000. We have a strong university, with, which starts to have a powerful tradition. And, you know, we, we have a lot of uh, smart engineers coming out of the uh, university. You can see the NXP building. And there is an airport not far from the NXP building. Actually, one can even walk to, to the airport, which is funny. In case you, you want to do your steps, that's a, good, uh, that's a good walk. There are three times a day flights to Munich. So Sibiu is pretty well connected via Munich to, to the world. There are daily flights to Vienna. And also there are daily flights to London and Rome. And there are several routes on low-cost flights, so pretty easy to reach Sibiu and pretty quick to reach anywhere in the world via Munich from Sibiu. And then there is the technology area and the technology part there in the distance. That's where many of our customers and part of our partners are working, so it is a good place to be. Let's hear more from Simona why we decided to come here. Exciting times for NXP Romania. We have managed to open the second NXP site. It's an R&D center here in Sibiu and we are very happy about that. It is as part of an expansion project. It is due to the uh, extension of the portfolio with the focus on the system. The engineers from, from, from Sibiu location will develop so innovative software solution for the NXP automotive assembly to microprocessors and microcontrollers. It is why we have chosen Sibiu in the end. It is because of the great talent that we found here on the market. It is because of the ecosystem system that is very important. We have tier ones. Here we have the universities. We have a great collaboration with all of them. So very happy about that. NXP is designing and producing microcontrollers and processors. And these microcontrollers and processors are supporting what we call the edge devices. Now these are the devices, smart home, industrial devices, you know, all of health, smart health and so on. These are the devices that are connected or not to the cloud and they are used to make our life a 21st century experience. Out of all these devices, one stands out in particular and that would be the car. The car is transforming now uh, on, multiple, on multiple levels. Many functions of the car are now implemented with electronic control units, ECUs, this is, this is how they call them, which are basically taking over various mechanical, hydraulical functions from the past. And now the architecture of the car is changing to, to be better optimized, to make the most out of these uh, electronic control units and, and the capacity that they bring to make the car safer, more secure and, you know, cut off the cost, the weight and, and so on and improve in a nutshell, improve the car. Within the car, there are now a lot of microcontrollers and microcontrollers and processors. And all these microcontrollers and processors need to be programmed. And this is why we say that the car is becoming a software defined vehicle, because there is a lot of software that goes and runs on these microcontrollers and processors. That means that the mechanic of the past in the classical way we know it 
it is in the process of being replaced by the software engineer who is going to add new features to the car or repair it, working mostly into software development. Let's hear from a real software engineer what exactly this looks like. At NXP we are developing uh, safer cars for our families and for our children. In the past I worked a lot for um, Tire One companies and I came to NXP because uh, I wanted to see what is um, the difference between working in a Tire One company and actually working in a company that is producing the chips for the Tire One's company but also for OEMs. There is a lot of work to develop the software for the car. There are a lot of people, there are literally thousands of people working in the definition of the software for the car, right? We need virtual development environments, we need modern ways to, to do the development and you know there are a lot of people that contribute to, to define the car and to define the software for the car. There are system of systems that are put together. A lot of software is aggregated and has to be tested, has to be verified. And in general, the software definition of the car is a, is a major effort to which a lot of people contribute. To prepare people for this, we already designed in CBU a course where young engineers, young would-be engineers, students, are learning about how the software development for the car is done. In order to create awareness about the experience in CBU, a great group of volunteers got together to create a new concept, which resulted into a project named Eat Sleep Code Repeat. Our main focus was helping students to develop a strong foundation to build upon and prepare them for working in, in the engineering field. The Replicar is a network made up of several modules that's, which simulate different uh, nodes like steering control, brake control, uh, HMI, etc. Together with the students, we simulated different functionalities of the project using NXP development board, uh, other several hardware components and peripherals. Out of 50 students that actively participated to the NXP courses, Eight promising students have been the offered to start an internship with, uh, with NXP. Following the success of the project, we decided to implement the same winning receipt with the University from Bucharest. A new concept is currently uh, being developed by a joint team composed out of colleagues from Sibiu and Bucharest to start a new project beginning with the next university year in both locations. Now don't go for this Eat, sleep, code, repeat. It's uh, at NXP we care about work-life balance. We just like how it sounds. It's a, it's a very catchy phrase. What I like most about this uh, course is not only that it, it takes real processors and real examples and they are showing real use cases with automotive-grade processors, but it's also that they spend time in looking at requirements definition, at source control for the code. It's not only about writing the code quickly, but it's also about showing students how things are developed in a correct succession, succession that, that you can you, you know you can have the software safe and secure. It is important. If the car is becoming a software-defined vehicle, it has to be a secure and a safe uh, vehicle. Let's find out more on the engineers that we already have on board from our site manager here. Even that just uh, recently we opened our uh, site in CB officially. Our team already consists in 1,000 plus year experience in the software development for automotive industry. This makes us very happy because with such kind of talents within our team and our site, we are a big player within the IT ecosystem. Join us and be part of our team in order to write a new history chapter within CBU city. Thank you. I really like the way he phrased it, you know. We have a thousand plus years of experience already present here in, in Sibiu. It is a great team to, to be joining. If, you, if you're looking to join NXP, this is a very good and cool place to, to be with a lot of technology, with a lot of uh, innovative work going on. Stay close, learn more about NXP, learn more about technologies and, you know, enjoy it because it is a great thing that we have that. Thank you everyone for watching, find out more about CBU, find out more about NXP and stay close.